It's your boy Crypto Millie back with another market update. Guys, you know we come here and we sign in each and every day. Um, work ethic does pay off. Today is wonderful Wednesday, not Wicked Wednesday. Hump day usually sets the tone for the second half of the working week. And remember in crypto, the race is not given to the swift or the strong, but the one that can endure. My name is Crypto Millie. Guys, make sure that you like and subscribe. All right, so... First and foremost, we got the CPI data um, out, and um, it came out about one-tenth short of expectations, which is technically bullish for the market. Um, I just put this in the Discord, guys, that I'm expecting a, a bit of a bear trap, right, because the ec economy right now is going through um, what we would people would call a recession right you know everything is is high but you're seeing like cracks in the economy when you look at the job market and things of that sort not to add we do have tension right no one knows what's going to happen on friday there was a lot of you know tension put out there guys go do your research i'm not going to speak on it on the channel but there was tension that could happen um before friday or friday out here in some of these different countries guys so again understand where we're at inside the market we do have some bullish news from crypto.com so um i do believe if i can go here to my uh, twitter page guys make sure you go follow me on twitter follow me on twitter but you can see here uh, crypto.com announces another significant partnership um further cementing its position as a dominant player in expanding ecosystem crypto.com secures multi-year sponsorship deal with uefa champions league so you're starting to see a lot of these entities companies and elites come around with investing into crypto products this is bullish for crypto right we're seeing it all across the board um uh, major banks are now buying bitcoin etfs um 2.8 uh, trillion is being held by Goldman Sachs. Um, Morgan Stanley is worth 1.4 trillion. Wells Far Fargo is worth 600 billion. These, are, these, are, this is how much these 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 entities are worth, and they are buying Bitcoin ETFs, and I would also assume Ethereum ETFs. So, um, institutions are lowing up in the midst of this boring session, right? Time capitulation. Over time, people just run out of money, right? Because they keep DCA and how do I know this this is what happened in the bear market right everybody kept buying the dip right in DCA until to the point where they had any money and they either capitulated or they just held and forgot about it and got out of crypto right I was explaining this to my discord how last bear market I had a job right I had a side income and I used most of my net worth to consistently invest into cryptocurrency and then finally we seen our turning point and i think we are getting close to the finish line i know it sounds um pretty uh, cliche right but at some point guys we got to get um across the finish line i will say this the others chart and also the total market three chart is bearish right so no sign of um confirmation here you can see the downtrend um from the lower uh highs here in the lower low so we definitely are in a downtrend on the total three and also the others chart um, but the main chart I would focus on here is the Bitcoin, um, excuse me, is the global monetary liquidity chart, right? Because as soon as we can break structure here and confirm a breakout, which means the Fed starts to turn on that money printer. Um, they, Jer Jerome Powell himself said it's the Fed waits for 2% inflation to cut rates. We have waited too long, right? So we're at what, 2.9? So this may mean that we should get a, a Fed cut um 0.25 or 0.5 here at the next FOMC meeting which is in about 35 days so this this is a great setup in my opinion for some pretty good altcoin moves right um going into Jackson Hole depending upon what Powell says on um you know within that Jackson Hole environment last time he was extremely bearish right he kind of like talked down the market and the market crashed going into um November and December and then it just exploded um January 2023 so it will be interesting to see how this happens because um right now you don't have to be a DJ and I've said this before you don't have to necessarily be a DJ um for anybody that's a conservative investor you can buy into strength I mean look at the price of quant quant is 63 bucks or like 20 bucks away from its um, um, yearly lows that we've seen around $45. Like the Polygon Matic has just set some new um, lows here. I can't even see it if it's not even in it. Matic. What happened to Matic? Let's see. Uh, Matic here. Matic has 
like dropped tremendously. Like Matic is 40 cents, guys. 40 cents is down 36% on the year. So a lot of these tokens that these blue chips that a lot of people um put you know on pedestals and high, they're actually down on the year, and you're starting to see um the, the tokens that are uh, that have strength, right? The tons, the casper, they're up, you know, massively on the year, 300 percent on the year, ton 360% on the year, uh jasmine here up 444 percent on a year so um some of the ones that we were talking about specifically jasmine um has been a good trade right but there are a lot of the older tokens as you see haven't done much on the only up 36 percent in a year for shiba inu um we can go to dogecoin only up 42 percent on a year kind of shows you that she been doge coins you know kind of <laughs> are aligned as far as the pump and you got some of the newer tokens also um, going experiences a little bit dip. Uh, Floki is up 394 percent on the year, so it's been a far better, better excuse me, far better performer uh, than uh, Doge and Shiba Inu. Um, Crypto.com up 60 percent on the year, so uh, not bad as well. So guys, there's a lot of discounts right now um, within the blue chip sector. If you're not a person that wants to take on volatility, I know I'm more of a DJ and I take a little bit more of risk, but I've explained to you guys how it can be rewarding but you can't be afraid of 20 percent 30 percent in some case 50 to 60 percent drops right that happens in um lower market cap tokens so um finding out what type of investor you are really matters right now we are in 30 as far as fear and greed index and um if we go check out this the, the bull market and bear market sentiment here i want to see if we're a little bit closer to our line if we can get that triple play here so the market that is, is actually bullish as you can see the sentiment is actually going up um even though the fear and greed index is going down um so that's one out of three and then of course we got the uh bitcoin season so i love to buy my altcoins below the bitcoin season line all right so we do have two out of three so not bad opportunity to dca but again everything really really depends on these two things right of course the uh, let me say three the election right the global monetary liquidity so if more liquidity gets put in the uh you know the economy and of course um we need war tension to go down right we need war tension to go down because war tension could um, possibly create a black swan event so q4 is going to be very very interesting um i've i've said it before that you know i'm expecting um the altcoins to run um, in the latter parts of Q4, maybe December, headed into Q1 of uh, January. Um, our mark right here was uh, no, uh, end of October, November, but it just depends on um, how the market responds to Fed cuts, right? Historically, Fed cuts are bearish until they actually turn the money printer on. The flip side of that is um, the Fed already started to buy back Treasury, so technically they've turned the money printer on so we'll just have to see i've said it before we're in uncharted territory um, we had an all-time high on bitcoin before the halving cycle which is absolutely fucking crazy to even think about that but ever since the halving cycle we've been just in this little structure of choppiness and uh, we just can't break over it right we can't break the all-time highs and we seem to be holding right around uh 56 to 60k on um, building that structure here so a very very interesting market right now um there is no rush. I would say there is no rush. Um, I've, I'm still holding a substantial amount of stables and ETH looking to um, inject that into the market when I feel like the time is right. Um, I'm looking for a nice good crash. I missed out on that last crash. I didn't get as much crypto I wanted to get on that last crash, but I would not miss out on the next crash because what we've seen every time we've had a pretty good, nice move to the downside is we've seen recouping, recouping strength, right? And we've, we're seeing institutions literally buy into the strength, strength every time the market dips. So that's the news for today um as far as the hottest narratives meme coins ai and casino bets right the tons the solanas and of course stuff like rwas the ondos um the uh pendos things of that sort still got our eye on a lot of blue chips but also some low cap gems like maze um neural ai and also um um, what's another one? Maze, New AI, and there's a few others, few others. I don't want to get into too much and make this an altcoin video. But guys, buy into strength. And when I say buy into strength, find you cryptocurrencies that's going up into the right um, against Ethereum. I can actually give you guys a, an example here. Um, Casper would be a good example, right? Casper. We just go to Casper. Um, and uh, we'll just go to Casper on Tether. 
we can see here that Casper um, has been a, a project that's been up and to the right, right? So find you good projects that are in a correction that's going up to the right. Um, Casper is actually a perfect example because you can see here it's been riding our trend line and we're a little bit closer to the trend line here, which would be a good um, buy-in opportunity if you're bullish on this th thing consistently rising, right? And a lot of people are bullish on Casper. It has, actually has one of the most uh, strongest communities with the tech to back it and very very interesting play could go higher but if you're a conservative if you don't want to be a degen right you want to get into some things that you know have staying power but are less volatile casper in my opinion is a great pick but um always buy on the trend line right never buy the top of the trend line uh, the top of the move on the trend line i always like to buy as closest to the trend line as possible um give me an opportunity to uh eat up the dips there so guys let me know what you think about the current um uh, market and what's going on in the market i think i covered everything um we did get a golden bullish cross on the monthly chart for the total market cap so again this is bullish here. This is bullish. This is bullish. This is bullish, right? Well, this is every golden cross that I've seen on longer time frames usually follow up with a pretty nice move, right? Um, and we, you know, let's just focus on these, you know, these these points of interest here from Cal. So, um, historically, election years have been good for the economy. Rate cuts are coming, which means liquidity will enter the market. We talked about that. Institutions have not stopped accumulating. Smart money is bullish. We showed you that. Um, do not allow your bearish bias to stop you from printing this cycle, guys. This could be one of the most lucrative crypto cycles of all time. Um, but you got to have patience and you got to uh, keep the emotions removed out the market. My name is Crypto Millie. I'll see you in the next one.